there and welcome back to Q&A Wednesday. This is my chance to talk to you all about holistic nutrition and how to have a good life by eating real food. And it is part three of my series on farts. Uh, today I'm going to be talking all about how we can fart less. It is normal to fart, but if you are farting too much and it's ruining your life or it's really hindering your life or the lives of those around you, this Q&A is for you. Uh, I'm going to start with the question, which is, I fart a lot and it's both uncomfortable and embarrassing. How can I reduce the amount of gas that I produce? So now that we have established that the reason that people have excessive gas is because digestion is in some way compromised. So the first tip that I'm going to give you to reduce the amount of gas that you produce is to follow good rules of digestion. What does that mean? Rules of digestion include taking the time to eat. Don't rush around and eat because this is hindering your digestion. You wanna chew your food properly because digestion starts in the mouth. Chewing your food properly is super important. You wanna limit or avoid drinking uh, liquids with your meals because that dilutes your hydrochloric acid in the stomach, which we need to do all the nice breaking down of our food and you don't wanna dilute that. It needs to be strong. And in part two, I kind of went over uh, proper food combining and I do realize that this is difficult for a lot of people, so I will just leave you with these two thoughts again. You want to try and eat your fruit alone away from other food and try not to eat starchy carbs like bread and pasta and those sorts of things with your animal proteins like your meat. I know it's difficult but if you're really gonna get serious about having less gas these things will help you. Number two is you want to try to remove or avoid or limit your dairy. Eh, you know it's really really hard um, but it really could help you a lot. I know in my case it helped me tons. I mean this was obviously a huge culprit for me and I know it's a problem for a lot of other people for various reasons. You might have a lactase deficiency. You don't have enough of the enzyme that is needed to break down lactose so that can cause gas excessive gas and you might just have a problem digesting the proteins in dairy especially cow's dairy so i would say to take that out of your diet see how it goes for a week or two honestly if it helps you it'll change your life now we talked about the fact that maybe some of your excessive gas might be caused by eating too much meat so number three would be to eat less meat or cut it out altogether for a little while see how your flatulence is doing so um, the reason that this is is because meat is harder to digest well we, we need to be chewing it really really well we need to have nice HCL nice hydrochloric acid to break it down um, and we need you know robust enzymes to do all that work and so because a lot of our digestion is already compromised a lot of people will have hard time digesting animal protein so I'd suggest cutting it back or cutting it out and see how you do Number four is to reduce your sugar. This is gonna be good for you for so many reasons. Uh, one of them being that you might reduce your excessive flatulence. There's all sorts of other reasons that reducing your sugar is good for you, but we're talking about farts today. So uh, let's remember that the bad bacteria feeds off of the sugar that you don't digest. So, um, you know, when you're having obviously things like pop and candies and chocolate bars and that sort of thing, um, you're feeding those bad bacteria. Also, but you gotta remember, you know, your refined carbohydrates, your breads, your white pastas, your white rice and that sort of thing, they get converted into sugar. And so if you're feeding those bad guys and they're gonna let off a lot of gas. So try reducing your sugar. Number five is a little bit easier. Um, and if you're finding that you just have excessive gas all the time, but it's not really that stinky, it might be because you're swallowing too much air. So try to reduce chewing gum, sucking on candies, and even drinking pop because pop is filled with carbon dioxide, which is a gas that needs to escape somehow. And just chewing gum, obviously, you're just swallowing a lot of excess air. So um, try to avoid those things and see how it goes. Now, number six is a little strange because I'm going to tell you to limit your legumes, even though I love legumes and I eat them almost on a daily basis. They're a great plant-based protein. However, like I talked about in part two of farting, they also have a lot of fiber and a lot of oligosaccharides, which will feed some of the good bacteria, but they'll also produce gas. So you wanna just introduce those slowly or just eat little bits at a time or every few days. Um, so if you're having an excessive gas problem and you're eating legumes all the time, maybe just limit them for a while until you get your digestion up to speed. Introduce a daily probiotic and that's gonna be good for you for a lot of reasons, especially if you have excessive gas. Like I said, so many things. You wanna be introducing a probiotic or probiotic rich foods in your diet all the time, so, so, so important. Um, but in the case of excessive flatulence, 
Uh, what it does, it will feed the good guys, the good bacteria, which will help promote uh, healthy digestive efficiency and all the rest and will help just digest the food that you might not be digesting. If you get it in the health food store, you want to look for a multi-strained capsules that are kept in the fridge. It's important. They need to be refrigerated to stay alive. Or you want to have probiotic rich foods like sauerkraut, kimchi, kefir, um, good quality yogurt, that sort of thing. Stimulate your digestive fire. That means you want good, strong digestion. So if you're eating a relatively healthy diet, you're doing all the right things, but you still find you're having a problem, you want to uh, start introducing things that will enhance your own stomach acid, your hydrochloric stomach acid. So those are things like apple cider vinegar, I'm always talking about it, and lemon water. You can take a, squeeze half of a lemon into a glass of water or a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar into a glass of water 20 to 30 minutes before meals, this will help. And or you could try taking a digestive enzyme with with HCL in it um, before your meals, right, right before you're about to eat. Um, and that will help with your stomach acid and will also help provide you with some enzymes that your pancreas might be lacking or having a hard time spitting out for lack of better words. I might've said one and it clicked for you. Oh yeah, you know what? Every time I have dairy, I do get gas. That is your body trying to tell you something. Please listen to it because if you don't listen to it now, something else more nefarious will pop up down the road. Let's just look at farts as a really good signaling to us that we need to pay attention to what our bodies are trying to tell us. So I hope this was helpful for you. I want you to start a food journal. Start writing down what you're eating and when you're getting gas and then go through this checklist, which is provided in the show notes and, and have a look at like, maybe you will be able to eliminate something that is causing you this needless suffering and stank, right? Okay, good. I hope you like this video. If you did, please like it. Uh, I'd love to hear from you if you're brave enough to talk about your own flatulence in the comments below, or maybe you have somebody in your life that is causing you grief because of this. Share, it's always nice to share. Also, subscribe to my channel, please. I love doing this. I hope you like it just as much as I do. And who doesn't love saying fart? Fart, fart, fart. Isn't that fun? I'll see you next time. We won't be talking about farts, uh, but you know, farting will always pop up from time to time. Oh, like how I did that? See you later.